Hey guys, it's Mad Max with House of Invertebrates, and uh, I don't know, I got bored tonight and I uh, was looking at Nibbler's Tank, my Brachiopelma wagons, and I decided that uh, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. It just, it was just a bunch of substrate. It's all a substrate and a water cap, so I found a coconut hide and some plastic leaves and threw this together real quick. Just something for her. Not too much. So, put that down and uh, got my big catch cup. And funny thing is, is I was looking for a small catch cup to pick her up in, and uh, I found, you know, this is Nibbler right here. I'll let you guys see real quick. Get the light over top. Brachiopelma wagons, biggins. Now, when I was looking for a cup, the funny thing is, is I found her cup, her Brachiopelma wagons cup. I can't believe it. I was like, oh, that's funny. I found your cup. So I'm gonna slide this over. I'm going to shift this a little bit to see if we can't get a. Gorgeous looking. Uh, uh, grouchy. State that much right now. Um, I tried to uh, I tried to uh, put a paintbrush on her. Yeah, she's kicking now. Oh, spider poop on the side of the hill. <laughs> there. There. Got that. I'm going to... I bought these wax worms. And the wax worms are uh, starting to... Um, is it pupate? I think it's pupate. But I'm starting to get a little... Almost, I'm honestly not sure what waxworms turn into, but I got several of them in here that are uh, not worms anymore. So I'm not quite sure what they turn into, but it looks like I'm about to find out. <laughs> so, <clears throat> since we got, you know, the nibbler here, we'll uh, see if we can drop in a little... Welcoming. There we go. There. There. Mm. I didn't kill it, did I? I might have killed it on accident. Is it booty? No, not really. All right, let's find one that's actually moving. That one doesn't seem to be willing to move. Let me try that one. There we go. The one that moves a bit. Hmm. Nothing. Oh well. No big deal. I'm still wondering about these though. It's like I hope. I hope they turn, but I have so many of them in here that literally look like they're about to. But they're all different. They're all different colors. Oh, it is alive still. Okay. Hmm. Not a lot of movement from them, but, you know. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> she ain't taking that. But all right, well, that's cool. But uh, this is Nibbler's new place. Little coconut hives, plastic leaves, Nibbler. I'll be putting the uh, water dish up here because I figure if she comes in here and, and moves any of the soil out, she'll move it to this corner where she's at right now. But, cool. Um, sorry, dude. Well, that's funny, it's fairly calm there, but it was uh, when I tested her earlier to get her out of the tank so I can clean it up and wash it and redo it. Uh, I, pushed, I touched her with the uh, paintbrush and uh, she just snatched right onto it. She just grabbed it and held it. Yeah, that's how we have to go. There we go. Nibbler. <clears throat> Inside the new container. Not sure if she's probably gonna go straight to the hole. Eh. Maybe not. Yeah, this is Brachiopelma vagans. Um, I mean, I guess I can give you some info on this for those who don't have one. Or uh, it's usually a dry kept species, but Nibbler likes moisture, so. I tend to moisten down the substrate, I, you know, water dish, you know, Gatorade cap, uh, water bottle cap, something fairly decent size, um, and then I overfill it, and then I spray down the, uh, like a top layer, spray down the whole top layer of it, I have it soaked out a bit, um, but I do like to use moist substrate first before, and, uh, hardy, um, they, they eat uh, all the way up until about pre-molt, and then they start pre-molting, they won't touch no more. Um, can have an attitude. Uh, the vagans can, and some of them will, like I said. Cool when I dropped that in there, but wasn't very happy when I tried to get her out earlier. Um, kickers, as you see, and she was kicking hairs inside there. I was trying to get uh, the... Uh, bottom of the, or the lid of the, uh, container. Yeah, I can't wait to see what she does with this thing. It's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Uh, you know, these are opportunistic burrowers. They will, you know, they'll dig and bury, but they're not like, uh, um, the Brachiopelma albopelosums where you get one, they're, they're going to dig. I, I have Miss Shiva, she's my Brachiopelma albopelosum, and she's really big and she still loves to dig. Um, I'll have to be redoing that container too, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, Colors of this is beautiful, like a jet black, velvet jet black with that the red abdomen. I can't wait for her to pop. She should pop. She should pop within the month, I would say. She's been chubby for a while. Not a sweet Illy. She's not one I would hold. No. I would be kind of nervous for her to bite me. She acts a little... She acts... She acts bipolar. One minute she's cool, the next minute she's not. But every tarantula is different. They have their own personalities. Each one of them does. Oh, there she goes. I think she found it. Yeah. And there she goes, guys. Oh, maybe not. Maybe a little exploration, I guess. Nice. Brachypelma exploration. Yeah, I'm getting a reflection of uh, that's funny she's crawled right into the leaves instead of into the coconut hide such an oddball 
Oh, she is laying webbing already. Got a strand from ground to where she's at now. Oh, that's funny. I don't know if you guys are catching that leg hanging out right there. Bam. She is so weird. She's so goofy. It's fun though. Shit like I want to be up on things. <clears throat> She's intriguing. She's very intriguing. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, the Facebook link will be down below in the description as well as Mad Invertebrates and Reptiles forum on Facebook ran by Katie's Random Adventure and I. So, those of you who have YouTube videos and you're looking to get into, you know, get more subscribers and more people to see, you know, uh, you know, click on the button to submit and we'll ask you for your, uh, um, YouTube channel, and more likely you're gonna, you'll get it. As long as you have a YouTube channel, it's kind of what it is, and it's to show everybody, you know, each other's videos, and get new subscribers, and shout outs. It's, uh, it's a lot like, um, uh, Tarantula YouTube Community, which is another good one to go check out, too, if you have a, uh, a Facebook page, as well as a, uh, actually, if you have a YouTube um, channel, uh, Tranchel YouTube community, a uh, vast amount of people, like uh, over a hundred people already on there who have YouTube channels, uh, some larger, uh, subscribes who have, you know, thousands of subscribers and some down below hundreds. So, uh, don't forget to check out that Mads and Vertebrate and Reptiles, as well as my Facebook will be linked down below. Check that out. Um, I'd do a shout out to Wicked Tarantulas as well as German Exotics, Katie's Random Adventure, Tennessee Tarantulas, uh, John3800, who's another one. So those who um, are getting into the hobby, new or looking to buy your first tea, uh, John3800 is another good one to check out. He's pretty educational when it comes to that. Uh, so like I said, like, subscribe. And, uh, <laughs> look at him, hanging out with the leg up, hanging out with the leg up. I guess Nibbler wants to say goodbye to everybody. Later, Nib. Bye. All right, later, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and, uh, comment down below.